Hi everyone, I've got another Lego classic set for you today. Another pirate set, I've not done a pirate set for a long, long time. This is set 6260. Another set from the original pirate line in 1989. And this is Shipwreck Island, also known as Pirate's Treasure Island, at least in the UK. And it only has 71 pieces, according to Brickset, and two minifigures. You do also get Really cool monkey and a parrot with this. And it was just a nice little set, mid-range sort of set in the day to get a couple of pirates and to get that new monkey and new parrot piece. And a few other bits and bobs as well. There's some treasure in this and one of these lovely base plates, which I'll show you in a minute. Well, lovely little set. Recent acquisition as well, boxed pirate set. Do aim to eventually try and collect at least as many of these as possible from the original line. So let's build this up, show you the little set, show you the figures, and then we'll show you quickly the instructions on the box. So here's our finished model, and it took me about five minutes to build this. Incredibly small amount of pieces, but there are some nice large pieces with this and some pretty cool pieces like the cannon. Um, so I guess you'll probably get more pieces these days in a poly bag, but you can get these big pieces. So just pick this up and show a bit closer this lovely base plate that you get. 16 by 16 base plate with this island decoration in the middle. This set also came with another pirate set in the 1989 line. And you get this lovely pirate tree. Palm tree, even. Pirate tree. Which moves about a bit. These are getting quite expensive now, these old pieces. Looks like I don't make these anymore. Here's our parrot on the top. And we've got our monkey over here as well. And our little uh, pirate flag. And I'll show you the two minifigures a little bit closer in a minute. And we've also got a firing cannon in here. And our little treasure chest, which you can push out from behind. And inside there, we've got all our treasure which again was new for 1989. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be based on some sort of a shipwreck and they've made bits and bobs out of the parts of the ship, but it is very, very small. Some cannonballs on the back for the cannon. Another little white plane flag. These are the old type. They do break really, really easy. So you've got to be really careful putting these on. And you get a little half barrel piece for this pirate. That's basically all there is to it. I'll show you the minifigures a bit closer up. So here's our two minifigures, and we've seen them before. The pirate ship. Uh, but this one on the left. Lovely decoration on his jacket. Really beautiful. He's got his eye patch. Again, the face prints. We're all new for 1989. He's got his nice brown tricorner hat. There's nothing going on on the back. And then the guy on the right, again, just a generic pirate, lovely moustache. They show him in the instructions as holding the sword and his little flintlock pistol. But just nice to get two more pirates. So I will try to collect as many of these sets as possible. But they are getting quite expensive now. And here's our monkey, and it's just minifig arms that are used for all four of his limbs, but. This is a nice new piece back in 1989. Still a cool piece now, so you can move all the arms and legs. But you know, there are new monkey pieces now. I don't think they're as nice as these ones. I still prefer these ones. It'd be nice if they'd made some brown hands. Just it was all brown, but yeah, it's just cool to get one of those. Just to show you that parrot a bit closer as well. Again, for 1989, this was a really cool new piece. Beautiful red macaw. And they still make this piece now and carry it on all sorts of different colours. Get some very, very rare ones like the grey one, but this is the most common one. And here's a little instruction booklet. Again, it's just one of these fold out ones. You get this lovely map on the back, treasure map design. These are in nice condition. Here's your first step on your base plate, shows you where to put the first pieces. 
in your cannon, the minifigures run the front there. Just a little booklet. All the way to the end. And a couple of nice little scenes on here. Oh, I'll show you the alternate builds in a second on the back of the box. But yeah, lovely stuff. So a quick look at the box. This box is in pretty good condition. A little bit of scuffing here, a few creases. It's held its shape really well. Again, say it every time, I love these old Legoland boxes with the yellow borders around. Just brings back so many memories for me. Puts a big smile on my face. Lovely stuff, classic stuff. we will see on the back, of pirate having a bit of a nap there. <laughs> I love all this stuff. Just about to see our date there, 1989. And really annoying when people put sellotape on these boxes. I hate that so much, but it's held its shape. Let's have a quick look at these alternate bills, if you can see them. So there's another little pirate hideout here with a sort of crow's nest. They used to put so much work into these little scenes. The ultimate bill here with this bizarre little car thing. This is really cool. And another alternate little island here showing the cannon firing. Really cool. Looks like this guy's cooking up a parrot for tea, maybe? <laughs> and then finally just a small cannon small build and a, a wheeled treasure chest there lovely stuff and you get this lovely artwork on these and it always seems to show the, the setting in question so lovely stuff there you go, I hope you enjoyed that, that was a very quick one uh, small set though, just the 71 pieces like I say do intend to get some more pirate sets in the future um, got a few of the big ones so check out those previous reviews if you can please do please check out the previous vintage uh, set videos, there's all sorts of space, pirate, castle town stuff on there I'll do another one of these very very soon guys please look out for a city update as well coming very very soon and if you've got time Check out my Star Wars and Marvel Advent Calendar shorts. Because nobody seems to be watching them for some reason. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, guys, for the rest of the weekend, have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you guys really, really soon.